Hello and welcome back to Zach and Buzz's 31 Days of Horror where we take a look at 31 titles over the course of the Halloween season to give you a few spoiler-free reviews Ooh, yeah. and recommendations. Yeah, these are movies you may never have heard of, mm -hmm. you may never have seen, mm -hmm. but we recommend you give them a try. Definitely. So what is on the menu today? For Shocktober today we have... Ta -ta -ta -ta, a werewolf! In England. It's upside down. It's upside down. A bit like my mask was. A werewolf in England. Yes, yeah, so you've now... seen American Wolf in London. You've yes. seen American Wolf in Paris. But have you seen a werewolf in England? Answer, probably not. Because, no. I I mean, we literally just stumbled across it in a shop somewhere. Yeah, and we thought, we've got to go watch that. It's obviously an independent filmmaker who's made... Uh, I'll, when I say low budget, I don't want to knock it. Because actually mm. they've done a pretty damn good job the of what they've got. prosthetic werewolves in this... Are really good. And they do some really crazy, crazy things. Stuff. Crazy things. Yeah, that you would not have seen. Slightly disturbing things, I might add. You would not have seen in any other movie. But I movie. think that the story and the characters are compelling enough to keep you on the edge of your seat all the way through. Exactly. Uh, there is one lead character who. Uh, he takes command most of the time, and the actor does a really good job of it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I say it's just well worth watching for the werewolves and, and what Definitely. they get up to because that's hilarious. If you're a fan of dog soldiers and American Wolf in London, of course. If you're like a werewolf in a proper physical suit. Yeah, if you're a fan of some more obscure titles, this is definitely one for you. Werewolf in England. If you haven't seen it, definitely go for it. Do it now. You know you want to. <laughs> If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions or further reviews you'd like to see. See you on the next one, horror fans.